Hi, hello, g'day, kia ora, or welcome to the studio. I'm Paula from Moxie Mojo. Thank you for joining me for Junk Journal January for 2024. So today is the 27th and the prompt for today is lyrics. So today I'm not going to go literal, literal for a change, but I... Because I have been looking through song lyrics to kind of inspire me and maybe pick a song that I really like. But when it came down to it, I couldn't pick one song. So what I've decided instead to do is to create a pocket where I can store my list of what I'm calling power songs for women. Because I love songs that inspire and encourage women to go after things and believe in themselves. And so I want to create a playlist. Now I did have a playlist but unfortunately I lost it, so I now need to start from scratch. So I thought, okay, creating my list and having a designated place for it so I can add songs as I come across them and then put them into a playlist once I then have time to pull the music together and all the rest. But at least I've got somewhere to save the songs. So that's my idea. I'm going to have a corner pocket in here that kind of matches our flowers from the previous day. So now my inspiration for this is a piece that I got in a swap from Tanya for Defemarimba. Now, I absolutely love this. Love, love, love this. It's made up of multiple layers of book paper. And then there's just random hand machine stitching on the top. And then, of course, it's got some ink dye on top of that. So I'm going to use this idea and kind of change it a little bit to make it my own and that's going to become my pocket. Now I love this idea of layering book pages together so I have pulled together a stack of book pages. Now I know that most of them are pretty flimsy because they're vintage. So I've got one book page that's a little bit heavier that is also vintage but this is going to form essentially my base that everything else goes on to. And by good luck or good management this is a good size for here. So I am going to have it based on lining up on this side in the bottom and then I'm just going to randomly tear across here. I don't mind if it goes up sort of nearly to the top. So we're going to just tear. Now one thing I have learned about this paper is that it is okay for lying flat but it's not the best for folding so some because it's too brittle so something like this where other things are going to be attached to it is the ideal solution for using up some of these book pages where you are concerned about you know I don't want to fold it, but I still want to use it. So there is my base. I like the height. I like the width. So we can go from here. So we'll put that aside. 
So now on top of this, I'm going to layer my different book pages. And I want to see bits of them all. So they're all going to be different sort of sizes and shapes. Now this one in particular I want to use. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But I think I might need to do it about there. Because as if the word is power. And I want that to show. Or maybe I even angle this. That might be an idea. So we'll angle that, I think, over there. So this is going to be my first layer on top. Now to hold them together, I am going to put a little bit of glue. You know, not a lot, but just a little bit to hold them together. And then we're going to hand stitch um, some decoration over the top. What I think I'm going to do is I will put some glue onto this page. I'm just going to clean my tip. I haven't used this glue for a wee bit, so cleaning the tip is always a good idea. Now. I'm probably going to hide all of this background paper. But we'll bring it in. We might see a little bit of it. But yeah, it's mainly it's, I want to use it for its strength as a, you know, solid background. Without having to use cardboard, which I think would be too heavy. So now, so we're there. So there's my word power. I can put that about there. Alright, so I'm happy with that placement. Yeah, just make sure we've got no glue spreading out there. No, that's cool. So now I am going to start by tearing this paper along my defined lines, which are the top and bottom of the page. But tearing them will just soften them, them soften them fractionally. So, there we go. So, there's our power. Now, I'll put my scraps over that side. Okay, so now I'm going to carefully tear so that I don't lose that word. Okay, so we've got a bit of glue there. Just clean that off. Now I'm probably I'm just like starting off. I'm probably going to have to um, shorten these, I think. But I'm just trying this as an idea. Because I want to do kind of like a star. Alright, let's just bring that one all the way up. So now, so I have, I, I don't mind that I've got um, bits of that page underneath showing, and that that's quite good. I'm just cleaning off that glue that 
didn't adhere to. So let's have a look. How's this going to fit into here? Is, is it going to fit? Okay, so bring that right down to there. So I just need to shorten this one and we're good. That's okay. I thought that might be the case. So we want to bring this one there. Now let's try that again. Okay, yep, that'll work. Right, next one on is this one here, and this can go on a slight angle too because it's big enough. If we bring it up to there, and I might start by just gluing the side, the, like the L shape. So now, next thing we need are some embroidery threads. So I've pulled out a selection of colours that I want to use. And I want to want them to be particularly bright. I've got some needles. Whoops, just got some glue to clean off there. That's okay. Now I'm going to stitch, do all my stitching through this and not onto the book so it's going to be like faux stitching onto the book um, and then I'm just going to glue it in place probably with just a fine line of my art glitter glue but for the stitching here um, that's okay so everything's glued on lightly these points are currently free but they're going to get stitched on now. So I'm going to start with my smallest points and then get bigger and kind of go out from there. Um, and we'll see. I don't know if I'll use all these colours. I may drop some out. Um, it depends on how I go. And this is just going to be a relaxing afternoon of crafting for me to be honest um, now because I haven't got holes I am using a needle that is reasonably sharp um, I'll be using two of the six threads here um, rather than like the whole six threads uh, I don't think I need that many uh, and I think two will be enough, but I'll have a look once I've pulled some off. So I am just going to pull out a couple of lengths here. So two, is that going to be enough? Yeah, two should be enough. So that. 
And then we want to scissors. So now, so that's one. But one, two. I think, yeah, I think two will be enough. I don't want to do the full six. So pull out one, pull out the second, put the rest to the side until I decide that I need it or not. So that's one and two. One's gone through, not the other. Why not? She's supposed to cooperate. You're on camera. Didn't you read your script? Alright, now I'm just going to do a wee knot on the end. going to now this is going to be the only hole that um, I will come back to on multiple occasions the rest of them I will um, at most go in to and out of probably twice I think but this one, because it's right at the starting point, will be multiple times. So now I am just completely eyeballing this. And all my, I'm just doing a really long stitch. I'm not doing anything fancy. No going, um, no breaking it up into multiple stitches just doing one long stitch back and forth so I may need to just put a another piece of paper just over the back of this so that um, whatever I put in here doesn't catch on the stitches but I'll think about that before I adhere this in place. Right, so here we go. Last one. That was a bit close to the edge, but that's okay. And then back to here. So now, if you weren't a hand stitcher, but you um, had a sewing machine, then by all means you could just hand stitch this if you wanted to. If you weren't a sewer at all, you could get out your markers and just do faux stitching. That's fine by me as well. It's just some kind of a decorative element on here so I don't know if you can see the white stitches in the corner there but that's all we're doing so I will come back to you once all this hand stitching is done because this is going to probably take me a wee bit although I'm probably also overestimating how long it's going to take um, because I'm just going to a movie on and relax and 
enjoy a summer rain shower that's happening out my window and um, you yeah, go from there I have finished doing all my sewing on here it took me quite a while but it was nice relaxing work so it hardly counts as work it was only a couple of hours I suppose three or four hours hours now what I've done is I've also put another layer on the back just to add some strength particularly to the points here um, just because they were like a single layer of paper so were really thin and I noticed when I did the stitching the green that they were starting to bend so I wanted to add some strength and also I didn't want things to catch as I put them into the pocket and to be honest there was a lot of threads even though I tried to be really tidy and keep it nice and tight because some of these stitches are quite long um, that meant that the corresponding stitch the other direction was also quite long but all sorted um extra layer there has helped solve that problem sorry there's just a little bit of fluff here annoying me i think it's just off my yellow thread there okay so time to put this in and then I can add my um, songs to the pocket. So I'm just going to glue down the two straight sides. And I'm using my art glitter glue for this. Just because I want a thin bead of glue along the two sides just to keep it in place mark that seal on there and now so we're going right to the corner side and side so now I'll just want to press this flat should I open it out before I think but no, no I'm pleased I didn't because that means I've got it right on the edge of that fold and there, so that's now in place and I can tuck things behind there as soon as I'm ready. It is lyrics. Okay, so that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Right, so let's go. I want it to kind of match that, so we're going to go, oh, shift that out of the way for the moment, that there, so we want it to go from just about here, lyrics, there we go, that's quite cool, I like that, and then the date will be, Seven January twenty twenty four. Yeah, near enough to matching. So they look quite cool together. They match, but they're so different. 
I love it. And so my first note page of songs can go in there. I don't want to push it all the way in because I don't want it getting stuck in there. Okay, well, I hope you like the way this turned out. I love it. Um, if you, tr and look at that, kind of looks like marker till you go in and have a close look. It's amazing what you can do with thread, isn't it? Sorry, squirrel moment. Um, I hope you've had a fun afternoon. Can't wait to see what you've done for your lyrics. Have you gone literal or have you done something really broad? Let me know, tag me in it, and I will come and see what you've done. I will see you back in the studio tomorrow. Bye for now.